Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to use another method to prove the statement that if two lines are perpendicular to each other, then the product of their slopes should be minus 1. In our previous video, we have shown you that the line slope m equals tangent r. Here, the r is the angle between the line and the x axis. Here we have two lines AB and CD. They are perpendicular to each other. And the line AB has an angle alpha and the line CD has an angle beta. So the line AB has a slope M1 equals tangent alpha and line CD has a slope m2 equals tangent beta. Here are some formulas which will be used later. Tangent alpha plus beta equals tangent alpha plus tangent beta divided by 1 minus tangent alpha times tangent beta. Tangent 90 minus alpha equals cotangent alpha. Tangent of times cotangent of equals 1. So the slope m1 times m2 equals tangent of times tangent beta. However, from the graph, we can see beta plus gamma equals 180. So we can get m1 times m2 equals tangent of times tangent 180 minus gamma. For this term, we will use tangent of plus beta, this formula. So we get m1 times m2 equals tangent of times tangent 180 minus tangent gamma divided by 1 plus tangent 180 times tangent gamma. As we know, tangent 180 equals 0. So we get m1 times m2 equals tangent alpha times 0 minus tangent gamma divided by 1 minus 0 times tangent gamma equals tangent of times minus tangent gamma. As we know, the line AB and CD are perpendicular to each other. So of plus gamma equals 90 degree. Then we can get M1 times M2 equals tangent of times minus tangent 90 minus alpha equals tangent alpha times minus cotangent alpha equals minus 1. So we have proved that if two lines are perpendicular to each other, then the product of their slopes equals minus 1. Today's presentation is a short. However, this kind of exercise is very useful and will help you improve your ability to solve problems and also will strengthen your knowledge. Thank you for watching.